Hey everyone, today I have a disappointing products video and I don't think I've ever done one of these before. So I know a lot of people have been doing these and I always think I should do them. You know, share things that don't work for me. Um, but most of the time I end up getting rid of them, whether I return them or give them to someone else or just toss them. I just don't ever hold on to them. So I have some things here. I just have five products. So this will be a relatively short video um, that I want to talk about and I want to call this disappointing products because it's not like I regret buying them. It's not that they're bad. It's just that they didn't work how I wanted them to. So I'm going to explain why each one doesn't work for me and what my plans are with it. So anyway, we'll hop right in. Um, the first, I'll start with makeup here. So the first thing is from Wet n Wild. It is the Color Icon Contouring Palette and they have two different like shades of these. So there's this one in dark, I believe it's darker. And this is the Dolce de Leche, right? Yeah. So um, that's what it looks like there. And the thing that I have issues with is I thought that this would be a really nice contour shade for me, um, but it's just too red for me. Um, it shows up pretty red. I mean, there it looks okay. But when I add my blush and, you know, everything else, it's just a little bit too red toned for me. So that doesn't work out too well. Um, this highlighter shade I think is great. Um, I definitely like it. And I probably will keep this and just use the highlighter shade. Um, and then, you know, when it's done, it's done. I'm not going to use this side. Um, but I do have it kind of sitting in my bag where whenever I have friends come over or I go see friends, it's in there in case if they want it. So, I mean, if someone wanted this from me, they could definitely have it. But if not, I'll just use the um, highlighter shade. I do like it to set my under eyes, like my under eye concealer. But I don't think this is amazing. Um... And this is just an issue with like my skin tone and what I like in a contour shade. So I'm sure this works for a ton of people, just wasn't, you know, for me. The other thing is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now I know a ton of people love this and I have never tried the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz so I can't say if it's a dupe or not. I've heard both ways, you know. Um, I think it is a nice pencil. I like the idea of it. I have the shade Taupe. You have a spoolie on one side and then your product that rolls up on the other. Um, I am just a tinted pomade girl. That is just what I like. I don't like pencils. Um, this is, you know, just not my thing. So I'm going to use this up um, because there's no point in wasting it and I've used too much of it to like really give it to anyone. So I'm going to use this up. Um, but it's not something that I will repurchase. It's just not the style that I prefer. And also, um, I think I just like a wider end. Like this is just too fine of a pencil. Um, I know that some have like a, like the Hourglass one is a thicker end and the Tarte one as well I believe. And it's more of like an angled point and I think I would like that better. I'm not going to try them because I have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade which is going to last me like another year probably even more, so I'm not going to be buying any other brow products um, or pencils just because they're not for me. But I think that this is awesome. I think it's great that there's a drugstore alternative out there that does compare, and I think that they have a great um, like range of shade selection. So I think that this is a great product. It just didn't work out for me because I don't like pencils, so there's that. Um, and then I have some skincare things here. So. Um, the first one here is from Juice Beauty, and I've heard really great things about this brand, and I really wanted to like it. So this is the Blemish Clearing Serum, um, and I just didn't like it. So I did use a good, you know, amount. Like, I used all of this, so um, I have been using it. I used it morning and night, um, and as it told you to... And I just didn't like it. So the first thing I didn't like is the consistency. It's very watery. So I felt like it didn't really ever... I felt like it evaporated before it sunk into my skin, if that makes any sense. Like, I felt like it just didn't get into my skin. I think it just, like, sat on top of the skin. So I didn't like that. Um, and I also just didn't think it did anything. I mean, that's the ultimate thing, right? I don't think it does anything for me. And so this is something I'm going to return if I can find the receipt. I think I know where it is. I got it from Ulta, so, and it's in my record, so I'm sure I can do something, but anyway, this just did not work for me, and because it is kind of pricey, I'm going to return it. I wouldn't say that it um, made me break out, but it did not control my breakout, so I still, I was breaking out a lot on my cheeks and on my chin, and this did nothing to help it, so I don't think it broke me out, 
but it didn't help the situation, if that makes sense. And then I have another kind of acne product. This is from Alba Botanica. It's called the Acne Dote uh, Deep Pore Wash. And I really like their daily deep pore scrub. I don't use it on my face every single day. Um, I actually keep the scrub in my shower, and I use it kind of on my chest and shoulders and my face in there, and I really, really like it. However, I don't like this, so it is more of a minty scent. Um... Yeah, very minty and it has kind of like that cooling effect and I really like the way it feels. I just don't think it really did anything to really like, I don't even know how to say it, but I don't think it really like got into my pores. And it's a deep pore wash, so I wanted it to get into my pores and really help dissolve and clear out what was in them. But I don't feel like it did. I feel like it just kind of like went across the surface of my skin. And, you know, didn't really do anything. I did use this with my Clarisonic. I used it with my hands. I used it all the different ways I could think of. And I just don't like it. So this product I'm actually going to keep. And I'm just going to stick it in my shower and use it kind of like in my trouble areas on my body. And use it there as like a body wash, you know. Um, and it, it has 2% salicylic acid in it. And usually 2% works pretty well. And that is higher than other treatments. But I just don't like the way it worked. I didn't. And I feel like the mint almost aggravated my skin more just because it's such a harsh ingredient to have in your skincare and it smells really nice it's cooling but doing that to your skin every single day I think really aggravated my skin my skin was very red very inflamed it just was not pretty so um, this just did not work for me and then the last product is from Kula it is the SPF 30 face matte sunscreen there's no tint to this so it's a white cast um, and it's not that I like the product itself, it's just not practical for what I want to use it. So I want to use it on my face. And that's what it's meant for. I like the matte finish. It's more of a powdery matte, not like a silicone matte. Um, and I really like that. The only problem I have is like in the morning I wash my face, I put on my toner and a serum, and then I want to put this on as kind of like my moisturizer. But my skin is a little bit, I don't want to say damp, but it, like if you put on a serum in the morning or anything on your skin, it just kind of makes your skin feel a little bit like sticky but not, I don't even know, just like hydrated. This would pill up really bad because this is trying to mattify. So it just didn't work out for me the way I want to use it. I am going to keep it and I think I'm going to try to use it, um, you know, on days where I'm not wearing makeup or days where I'm just running out quick. I think this would be an awesome sunscreen for the summer. Um, and I also think I'm just going to use it on the backs of my hand, like keep this in my car maybe and use it as a hand cream just because I do like a matte hand cream so I'm not like slippery all day. So... Yeah, I just, I was a little bit disappointed in that it didn't work the way I wanted to. I think it's a great product. It just isn't working for what I wanted it to. So those are all the products. I hope you guys found this maybe a little bit helpful. Um, it, like I said, you know, most of these aren't bad products. They just didn't work how I want them to. So let me know down below if there is something that you had high hopes for and were, you know, disappointed by. I'd love to hear what it was and like why it wasn't working for you. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.